Many kids with learning struggles also struggle with executive functioning skills. And for that reason, having some sort of visual task planner for your child while you homeschool is a way to teach them executive functioning skills without them even knowing it. When my children were young, we had a huge wall in our kitchen that I turned into a chalkboard. And on that chalkboard, there was their daily tasks, their weekly tasks, our scripture verse, our vocabulary words, everything we were working on that week was on that board. And it was a place where we walked through all the time. We saw it and we knew what needed to be done and we could practice whatever was in front of us, even if we weren't doing school. <laughs> but maybe you don't have a huge blackboard or wall to dedicate to a blackboard in your home. So here's some other ideas. You can use a large piece of fabric with Velcro to stick on there with tasks for your child or a whiteboard works wonderfully or even a magnetic board with magnets that can be moved on and off. Now tasks for kids who can't read of course should be pictures and as kids get the ability to read then you can put them in words. Also marking them to say which tasks can be done independently and which tasks need to be done with mom is important because then your child knows which ones they can work on while you're busy and which ones they need to wait for. So those are just some ideas. Your goal eventually is to get your child to a point where they can create those tasks themselves either in a paper planner or digitally some kind of reminder on their phone. But this is a way to progress into that process and to get them those executive functioning skills while you're homeschooling.